vessel Mississippi to New Madrid for the annual low water hearing to listen to the concerns of citizens uh, in the Mississippi uh, Valley. Uh, I really wish I could be there with you in person. There are so many challenges <laughs> that we face, and I'd appreciate the opportunity to in person be there, but I also appreciate the opportunity to share a few thoughts on the key challenges facing uh, the MRC and, and the people whose livelihoods are dependent on the ongoing mission of the Corps of Engineers. Uh, many of my constituents in the Birds Point New Madrid floodway feel that part of the mission statement speci specifically that says to energize our economy and reduce risk from disaster uh, was abandoned when the floodway was activated uh, in May of this year. Uh, on April the 27th, Senator McCaskill, Representative Emerson and I wrote the President urging the administration to seek alternatives to avoid the disastrous consequences in the floodway that would result if we activated that floodway for the first time since the 1937 plan. On May the 1st, when Representative Emerson and I joined Major General Walsh and the MRC members to tour the region, I still had hoped that the activation of the floodway could be avoided. Obviously, my hope was short-lived, and history will judge whether the activation of the floodway worked as planned. Uh, and what action is taken to re rebuild this fertile part of, uh, of our state and, frankly, of the country. Today, four months after the levees were blown, Missourians in the floodway are attempting to rebuild their lives and livelihoods. Uh, a big chore given the tremendous loss experienced in, in the floodway, uh, one of the places in our state where we can depend on the best crops year after year. I appreciate the initial efforts by the Corps to rebuild the levees and urge the MRC to take all the necessary steps to make sure the levees are completely rebuilt without delay. That temporary levee that we can build a new levee on, the, the, the permanent levee on top of, is critically important that we make the quickest possible progress, and I intend to be there in a few days looking to see what kind of progress we are making. New Madrid County and Mississippi County are two of the largest uh, and highest ranking uh, row crop production counties in Missouri further testimony that we need to repair and rebuild the authorized project. In addition to the millions of dollars lost in agriculture, there's also a lot of damage to our public infrastructure as well. Local government cannot and should not be held accountable for a federal man-made uh, occurrence like this. I urge the Corps to work closely with the local, state, and other federal agencies to ensure that all necessary repairs are made to infrastructure impacted by the floodway. Another infrastructure issue that could be far-reaching is uh, uh, both the consequences direct and indirect on employment. Uh, and keeping our inland harbors fully operational make a big difference on how people make a living uh, along the river in our state and make a living using the river in our state. Uh, New Bourbon, Southeast Missouri, uh, New Madrid City and County, and Pemiscot County all have experienced a lot of silt built up as a result of the flooding. Uh, we can't afford as Missourians to uh, have these inland ports be shut down if uh, annual dredging isn't done. Uh, I'm doing everything I can to encourage that we look at this uh, flood disaster as uh, one of the opportunities uh, uh, to get uh, these ports open back up again uh, as a way we respond to the flood. Local officials estimate that over 80,000 truckloads are transported uh, through southeast New Madrid County and Pemiscot ports annually. 